can you arrange internships for university students? Uh, will they get paid if they're doing volunteer work or the internship? Can we choose what to work with or do we get a job based on our study or career background? How much will the accommodation cost? Is not living with a host family affordable? Question number eight. Mm -hmm. How many months is it? Approximately minimum, maximum. Hello everyone, it's me, Valda. Today I'm here at Birthright's office in Armenia, Yerevan, sitting with Ani. She will be telling us everything about this amazing organization. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. I wanted to meet you today because I had a lot of questions mm -hmm. about this uh, organization. I want to talk about the organization a bit. Yeah, first of all, thanks for coming. It was a pleasure to meet you here in our office. Um, Birchweit Armenia is actually an NGO based um, in 2003. We are operating for about 20 years now and we have welcomed more than 2,000 participants from all over the world. Um, countries including the US, Sweden, Russia, Brazil, Jerusalem and 56 other countries. Um, what we do is that we provide volunteering or internship opportunities to Armenians here in Armenia. We connect them with local organizations based on their interests or their passions or their education and experience and um, through this program they are able to um, you know, receive hands-on experience, get to know the culture in Armenia, get to know the employment opportunities in Armenia, and many of them eventually stay here. And except for um, volunteering opportunities, they also go on weekly excursions, participate in forums, uh, get to know the locals, so basically they are integrating into the local community in Armenia. Let's start with the questions. Can you arrange internships for university students? Yes, <laughs> evidently. Um, maybe one thing that I wanted to add, a small detail, is that many university students who take internships um, to complete their credits can also apply to our organization. And um, after their internship is complete, they can transfer their credits from here to their home universities. So basically, yes, yes and yes. Uh, will they get paid? if they're doing volunteer work or the internship? Mm -hmm. Is it a paid internship or...? Um, yes and no. So the volunteers or the interns are not paid for the job that they are doing here in Armenia. But we are offering a very flexible um, financial package which includes travel reimbursements, stipends after 18th week of volunteering and uh, we are also covering so many other things, um, expenses that they have in Armenia. Um, including accommodation, but we'll talk about this later. Um, so basically, all we're looking for is long-term stays in Armenia. Once the volunteer decides to stay here for a long term, then the finances will be provided. You can choose any city in Armenia. Right now we have offices in Yerevan and Gyumri, mm -hmm. but we have volunteers um, not only in Yerevan and Gyumri, but also Vanazor, Sevan, Dilijan. Last year we had a girl volunteering in Martuni. So you can choose the location where you want to volunteer. We will find a homestay for you and also an organization where you can volunteer. Can we choose what to work with or do we get a job based on our study or career background? Um, it's actually both. Um, some volunteers want to come to Armenia to specialize more in the fields that they are already in, that they are mm -hmm. already exploring, but some others want to also learn something new in parallel to their volunteering. So because you can have more than one volunteer placement, you can do both. For example, um, you are a violinist, yet, let's say, and you are also a physician. You can have two volunteer placements at the Opera House here in Yerevan and at somewhere else where you can specialize more in your, you know. Um, so they can do two things at once? Uh, three things even, really? <laughs> yes. So basically the maximum number of volunteer placements is three at the time, but you can have also one placement or two or three. Okay, this is so my yeah. question now. Okay. If I'm interested in few things, let's say, mm -hmm. music and work. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have to go to work every day. So it's not mm -hmm. like 
eight to five job that I will get, let's say, five, yeah. five days a week. I can mix things? Yes, you can mix things. So our volunteers are volunteering 30 hours per week. But how you distribute the, those 30 hours is up to you. So uh -huh. you can, for example, work on music production for 15 hours and you can dedicate the other 15 hours to your professional activities. So it's weekly 30 hours yes. of work and you can choose yeah. what... This is great! <laughs> this is great! <laughs> so wow. Wow. right now we have a volunteer in Yumri. Uh, she's doing law mm -hmm. and um, she's working at a legal firm, you know, as her, you know, part of the volunteering. But also she's, uh, she likes dancing, so she's also teaching dance, which is the other hours of her work. I'm falling yeah. in love with the organization more and more. <laughs> mm -hmm. You uh, arrange a host family mm -hmm. for the yes. members. Uh, the question is, will it be possible to change the host or the working place in case in case we feel uncomfortable? Uh, you won't feel uncomfortable, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we have had several cases where volunteers came, they had a job placement, a volunteer mm -hmm. placement, and they felt like that this is not exactly what they want to do. So they wanted to change the sphere, they wanted to change the field, they wanted to change the their city that the they're, 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 yeah, they're located, so we're flexible to do that. And same goes for the host family. I have a question. Do you interview the host families before? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Our host families um, are going through a screening process and we already have a formed network of mm -hmm. host families. We are um, occasionally opening recruitment for new host families um, in different cities, not only Yerevan, but as I already said, Gyumri, Vanadzor, mm -hmm. etc. And uh, once we have a volunteer, we are connecting them with the host family, which is available at that time. Perfect. How much will the accommodation cost? Free. <laughs> the accommodation <laughs> is free, free, guys. So you stay in Yerevan for free. Yeah. Well, not the additional cost. <laughs> on the restaurants but <laughs> yeah so we are actually paying to our host families mm -hmm. um, on a monthly basis for every volunteer that they are hosting but uh, this expense is on birth right so mm -hmm. you don't have to pay anything to your host family except um, if you want to do your laundry and if you want to have dinner with the family this is about twenty dollars per month but this is like an additional optional expense. Will the volunteer pay the birthright to join this organization or to be a volunteer? No. 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 So all they need to do is just sign up and come here as a volunteer? Yes. Um, before coming to Armenia, you have to buy your own ticket and the travel mm -hmm. reimbursement is, um, again, it's very flexible, but it ranges from 50 to 100%, mm -hmm. depending on how long you have stayed in Armenia and in how many activities you were involved in, let's say how many forums you have attended, how many havocs or gatherings mm -hmm. you have attended. And based on that, we will determine how much will be your travel reimbursement. All these details are available on our website, so before coming to Armenia, the volunteer will know exactly what to do mm -hmm. to receive uh, the final 100% of reimbursement. So, um, yes, before coming to Armenia, you just have to pay for your ticket, come to Armenia, and then you will receive the reimbursement. Probably a small additional expense would be your um, medical insurance, which all volunteers are required to have here in Armenia, mm -hmm. but again, this is a very small expense. Is not living with a host family affordable? If, if a person does not want to live with a yeah. host family. So it depends actually. Some volunteers decide to live with their relatives in Armenia. Mm -hmm. Some volunteers uh, decide to share, a, you know, rent, rent an apartment and then share it with the, their, uh, the other volunteers. But usually if you want to rent an apartment in Armenia, the cost ranges from $300 per month to 1000 and up. <laughs> so it depends on the person, the person can choose yeah. whichever apartment yeah. they want to yeah. basically rent it. Mm -hmm. okay. We are offering the option of staying with the host family, but this is not mandatory. Okay, yeah. okay. But let's say if you are paying the host family, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, can we get that amount of money to stay by ourselves yeah. in an apartment? 
No. So it's only for the yes. host families. Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, when we say living with a host family, we don't understand only the accommodation, but we also understand the cultural interaction and the seeing company. what the life is in Armenia, you know, seeing a different yeah. perspective. So we're basically more paying for that perspective rather yes, than just for the experience. Yes, more yes, yes. Question number eight mm -hmm. How many months is it? approximately minimum maximum month mm -hmm. so um, our volunteers they choose their dates mm -hmm. when they want to come there is no particular deadline for application but the minimum stay is nine weeks and the maximum stay is one year okay so you can choose anything in between the question number nine it says how long is a contract for which is between nine weeks and the year and the year be. yes um, some volunteers come and then they decide to extend sometimes they want to leave earlier because of emergency matters that's fine but usually the minimum is nine weeks okay there is however one exception for professionals over 25 um, if you are 25 plus and you are employed full time in your home country, then you can do Birthright Light, which is a lighter version of our regular program. With this program, you can come for only four weeks. You have to volunteer full time, so it's 40 hours instead of 30 hours. Um, but in this case, we are not providing financial support. If I already have a place in mind to do my volunteer work, mm -hmm. can Birthright arrange it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Most probably yes. Um, to start with, we currently we have a network of more than 1,000 partners in Armenia mm -hmm. from different spheres. Architecture, education, IT, arts, sports, etc. etc. But um, also there were some cases that we recruited job sites or volunteer placement organizations specifically for one volunteer mm -hmm. because they could offer the programs that the volunteer was interested in. So again, in this sense, we are very flexible in this term as well and we are open to recruit new job sites specifically for the volunteer. But I'm sure most probably we will already have your preferred um, organization in our list of partners. Okay, now last two questions. Who can participate? Mm -hmm. So in order to be a participant of our program, you have to fill in certain criteria. Mm -hmm. The first one and the most important one is that you have to be of Armenian origin, meaning at least one of your grandparents is Armenian. Um, except for this, you have to be uh, above 21, so you are 21 plus. Okay. And, um, the age range is from 21 to 32, so if you're older than 32, again, you cannot do birth right. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to be born abroad, outside of Ar Armenia, or you should have left Armenia before the age of 12 to okay. be able to come and participate. Also, if you are already in Armenia, um, you should be living in Armenia for no longer than three consecutive years, two or three consecutive years, depends mm -hmm. on, you know, mm -hmm. cases, because our approach is case by case. So again, if you just decided to repatriate, or if you are in Armenia for already a year looking for new opportunities, you still can do it. Okay, uh, you said the origin should be Armenian. Yeah. Uh, does it mean um, they need to have Armenian citizenship, or it's just that they need to be Armenian? Mm -hmm. No need to have any documentation, I mean, any citizenship passport, mm -hmm. but if your name is Armenian, yes, 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 yeah. yes. So if your last name is Armenian, your uh, grandmother's last name is mm -hmm. Armenian, that's enough evidence okay. to be able to show your Armenian origin. Do they have to speak Armenian or? No. Okay. <laughs> Again, Perfect. no. Um, Certainly knowing Armenian would help them in Armenia, especially when they will be working with local mm -hmm. volunteer placement organizations. Mm -hmm. But if you don't speak Armenian, we are also offering classes of Armenian for different levels of Eastern Armenian. So if you want to learn Armenian, you can do that through our program again. And these classes, again, are um, offered um, free of charge. Okay. Will that be in the 30 hours of volunteer work or that's something else? Uh, this is separate, this is not okay. counted as volunteering hours um, and it depends. We have intensive classes which are on weekends for 5 hours, 
uh, we have other regular classes which are held two times per week. Mm -hmm. So it depends. And then the last question, since mm -hmm. you said it's still 32 years old, but what if they are over 32? Uh, can they enjoy the program? Or if they are non-Armenian? Non-Armenian, yeah. Um, there are volunteering opportunities for everyone, mm -hmm. so I don't want to say no. <laughs> Uh, for this reason, we have our sister organization, the name is Armenian Volunteer Corps and they are here to, so we are basically complementing each other as organizations. Those who are over 32 Armenians and non-Armenians, they can come volunteer to Armenia through ABC, Armenian Volunteer Corps, and also non-Armenians over the age of 31, they can come through our partner organization, ABC. We have had several cases where we had couples volunteering through both organizations. For example, the wife is doing birth rights and the husband is non-Armenian. ABC, ABC, or siblings. The sister mm -hmm. is older, she's doing ABC and the brother is doing birth right. Or mother and daughter, mother is doing ABC and the daughter is doing birth right. Basically, we are trying to offer opportunities for everyone, not to leave out anyone else. Does ABC have uh, an age limit? Uh, no age limit, the minimum age limit is uh, 21. Uh, so you have to be already 21 to be able to participate, mm -hmm. but no upper age limit. We okay. um, instead encourage retired people, 65 plus people to join um, ABC because we really want their international experience, their knowledge um, to be brought to Armenia and to be contributed to Armenia. Um, otherwise, we have the same events, same forums, same excursions, same partners, same opportunities, everything is the same. The eligibility criteria is the only difference. This is great. This is great, especially for Spirkehaya who are living abroad and they want to be here all the time. I know that feeling yeah. because I also live abroad. I know that feeling. We want to be here all the time. We want to work here. here. So, I love it. I love it. So, thank you very much for all this information. I hope we were able to answer all your questions. Those are the questions that you've sent me on social media. Uh, if you have more questions, you can open the website mm -hmm. of the organization, read through, contact them. Mm -hmm. And I hope you will join, yep. because I know that I will. <laughs> Thank you very yes. much, Ami. Thank, Thank you very much. We will be waiting for your questions and applications, and we'll be waiting for you too <laughs> to join as a volunteer. And hope to see you soon. Yes. And see you soon too. Bye-bye. <laughs>